and welcome to Season 5 of the Atlanta Opera's Blink Opera Podcast. I'm soprano Katie J. Bryan, and I'm excited to return to the Atlanta Opera to perform the role of Musetta in La Boheme. I'm thrilled to be your host for this week's episode on Puccini's beloved masterpiece. The genius of La Boheme is its ability to resonate with audiences through the ages as it explores universal themes of love, poverty, and sacrifice. While the story is traditionally set in 1830s Paris, our story is reimagined in Brooklyn during the COVID-19 pandemic, drawing a striking comparison to the 19th century tuberculosis epidemic which pervades the tragic plot. I actually debuted the role of Musetta in December of 2019, mere weeks before the pandemic that shut down the world, and precisely the start of our reimagined plot. It's not every day in opera that I get to apply direct personal experience to the story I'm telling, and I'm certain that audiences will feel an immediate connection to our shared experiences. Now let's dive into the plot. Act One. On a chilly December evening in a small Brooklyn apartment, the struggling painter Marcello and poet Rodolfo are trying to stay warm by burning pages from Rodolfo's latest manuscript. Their roommates Colline, an aspiring philosopher, and Chonard, a musician, arrive with groceries, fuel, and some money they've collected from a generous friend. They all celebrate their unexpected fortune, but their landlord, Benoit, comes to collect the rent. After making the old man drunk, they urge him to tell of his flirtations. When he does, they throw him out in mock indignation at his infidelity to his wife. While the rest of the group heads to a local cafe for some cheer, Rodolfo stays behind to finish an article for a freelance gig. A knock at the door brings the seamstress, Mimi, a pretty neighbor, to the scene. As she enters the room, she suddenly feels faint. Rodolfo gives her a sip of wine, then helps her to the door and relights her candle. Mimi realizes that she's lost her key when she fainted, and as the two search for it, both candles are blown out. Rodolfo finds the key and slips it into his pocket. In the moonlight, he takes her hand and they tell each other about their lives, hopes, and dreams. The scene ends with a glorious duet, and the two leaving arm in arm, now quite in love, to join the Bohemians at the cafe. Act 2. It's Christmas Eve at Café Momus. At a busy Brooklyn café, the street is bustling with holiday shoppers and street vendors. Rodolfo buys Mimi a beret and introduces her to his friends. They all sit down for dinner as the toy vendor Parpignol passes by with children in tow. Marcello's former sweetheart, Musetta, makes a dramatic entrance with the elderly but very wealthy Alcindoro. The ensuing tumult reaches its peak when, after many attempts to gain Marcello's attention, Musetta loudly sings the praises of her own popularity. She sends Alcindoro off on a fool's errand and finally falls into Marcello's arms. Soldiers march by the café, and as the Bohemians fall in behind, the returning Alcindoro is presented with the check. Act 3. It's dawn on a frigid February morning, and workers are getting started with their day. The world is starting to feel the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Late guests who've partied through the night are heard at a tavern. Cold and ill, Mimi arrives and searches for Marcello, who now lives with Musetta. Mimi confides to Marcello that she's so troubled by Rodolfo's incessant jealousy that she thinks it's best that they part. Rodolfo, who's been holed up in a local bar, emerges and confesses to Marcello that he wants to end his relationship with Mimi, not because of her behavior, but because he fears his financial struggles are worsening her health. As Mimi overhears, she steps forward to say goodbye to Rodolfo in Adio senza rancor, which means goodbye without bitterness. The scene unfolds with Mimi and Rodolfo reminiscing about their happier times, while Marcello and Musetta argue loudly in the background, reflecting the broader sense of 
personal and social turmoil. Act 4. As the pandemic escalates, the small Brooklyn apartment becomes a symbol of isolation and struggle. Rodolfo and Marcello are alone, having broken up with their partners and facing the loneliness exacerbated by social distancing. Colini and Chonard manage to gather some basic supplies and try to lift their spirits with a makeshift dance. Musetta arrives with the distressing news that Mimi is outside, gravely ill. Rodolfo rushes to help her as Musetta reveals that Mimi requested to be with Rodolfo in her final moments. She's made as comfortable as possible while Musetta asks Marcello to sell her earrings for medicine, and Colline goes off to pawn his overcoat. Left alone, Mimi and Rodolfo recall their meeting and their first happy days, but she's seized with violent coughing. When the others return, Musetta gives Mimi a muff to warm her hands and prays for her life. Mimi slowly drifts into unconsciousness. Chouinard realizes that she's dead and Rodolfo is left inconsolable. I'm soprano Katie J. Bryan. Thank you for joining me on this week's episode of the Atlanta Opera podcast, Blink Opera. If you enjoyed learning more about La Boheme, please rate and review this podcast on Apple Podcasts. It's a great way for more people like you to find out about our content. And don't forget to follow the Atlanta Opera Podcast for more great episodes.